this is a uh, actually one of my newest um, sample creations this one consists of multiple controls you have a checkbox you have three radio uh, buttons you have actually a drop down menu you have a list box you have a scroll button I'm going to zoom in here the first uh, what you see here at the very top is the busy busy uh, checkbox is actually linked over here as you can see under the S3 it's uh, at false right now but let's go ahead and click the box now that we've clicked it it's true now as far as the radio buttons there are three of them sugar is the first one pepper is the second one salt is the third one now that I have salt uh, checked let's go over here to where it's linked notice how that's number three right now let's go ahead and change it to two the second one alright notice how it changed to two now down here you probably notice you ha have uh, the purple highlight you have the yellow highlight and you have the green highlight over here the raw uh, the R columns you're going to see the yellow that's the data source for uh, the yellow highlight below the green column is the data source for the green highlight below let's go over here to the buttons this is the drop down button notice how we have it set to the third name which is Teresa let's go down here to the yellow you see how it says you selected Teresa from the drop down box I'm going to change the name and watch what happens where you see Teresa it's going to change to Mary let's go up here so you can see what I've done let's go ahead and choose Clarence now notice how it changed to Clarence okay let's uh... down here you have you selected Beverly from the list box let's change the list box while you're looking at it I'm going to change it to Margaret notice how it's changing I'm going to change it to Pip and this is what I was changing the list box now the thing about the drop down button menu uh, button and the scroll button are they linked let's go over here again and look you've selected Clarence so currently if we look here it's set to Clarence at the very bottom and notice how the uh, scroll button is at the very bottom we're going to go up maybe two names one two now let's go and see what it says you selected PIP let's see it, they're linked so this should say PIP2 and it does okay um, now the last one we're going to discuss is the purple highlight this one is a little bit more complicated it consists of two separate formulas con uh, concatenated with uh, a text string and it basically consists, all of them consist of if else this purple one consists of both the checkbox and the radio buttons the sentence reads when the box is checked, the checkbox is checked, busy it reads I'm busy right now let's uncheck it and watch what happens notice how it says I'm not busy yet now when the, at the very end over here it says so I'll go to the store and purchase some pepper let's go ahead and change this to sugar by clicking the buttons uh, the radio buttons over here it changes so both of these are combined whenever we we're going to check the box here we're going to choose pepper so now it says because the box is checked for busy it says I'm busy right now later I'll go to the store and purchase some pepper let's uncheck the box and let's choose salt now it says I'm not busy yet so I'll go to the store and purchase some salt this was 
the newest upload to YouTube, uh, my sample creations for Microsoft Excel, which consists once again of a checkbox, three radio buttons, a drop down menu button, a list box, and a scroll button. Thanks, take care.